<laughs> we just recently got challenged by a YouTube channel, Red, White, and Bethune. Asked us to do a three things challenge. Uh, three things we love and three things we hate about our RV. We are also going to be nominating a couple of other channels to do it as well. We'll see if it continues on the trend, but uh, that was a cool idea, so we figured we'd respond to it. So, we want to do the first, uh, the first dislike or hate. Yeah, so the big thing is we have a fifth wheel, so it has a nice little step up from the living room into our bedroom slash bathroom area. Um, but the hallway in that little step up is real tiny, like one person, maybe like an adult and a kid. Um, but yeah. it's like you do a shuffle, you have to like take turns. And if there's, we've had times where our whole entire family of five is in this little tiny hallway, and it's like we're yeah. not claustrophobic people, but like it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot having us all in that little tiny hallway. Didn't think it was going to be a big deal, but we do use that hallway quite a bit. Um, well, it's to especially. the bathroom, so when you open the bathroom door, you can't use the hallway. So yeah. That's really unfortunate. Yep. The second thing that I wish we had, um, our trailer that we bought, we got a good deal on it, and I really love it, but uh, one of the things we had hoped for, we ended up getting is a 50 amp versus a 30 amp. So we did a lot of like lighting upgrades to reduce draw, and uh, made a lot of adjustments to try to reduce power draw and be more efficient in the trailer. But we still blow breakers on occasion. Uh, we still run into issues where we run out of power. We'll blow the pedestal's breaker, and then we'll have to go back out there and reset it. If you take a shower, and you empty the tank, then you go out in the hallway, and then she tries, after she takes a shower, to uh, then blow dry her hair. Well, now, say the air conditioning kicks on, and the hot water heater element is on, and then you've also got the kids out here watching a TV show on the TV, and now you try to blow dry your hair <laughs> with a heating element inside a blow dryer, and all of a sudden, all the power goes out. So... Yeah. Not the end of the world, but it's a minor inconvenience. Yeah, so. it's a minor annoyance. I, if it was just me and her, it probably would be a little easier, but when she had kids in too, and they got their tablets charging, and they're, when they're working on a laptop for schoolwork or whatever else. Yeah, or a becomes, really hot day and we want the AC going. Yeah, or it's a really hot day and the AC is just running constantly, or yeah. you're warming up some chicken nuggets in the microwave or whatnot. you got to kind of be conscientious of Amdraw. Something you got to kind of think of in the back of your mind all the time. So. Third one? counter space so we love our little kitchen but we run out of counter space all the time yeah it's very small i mean it's actually not terrible because we use our um kitchen table for a lot of stuff but like when we're doing dishes it would be super nice to use both sides of the sink to like soap and then rinse and then like have spots to put the dishes when they're clean but like we don't have that luxury so it's not the end of the world either but it would be and then back to our loves, what do we love about our fifth wheel? So one of the nice things about having a fifth wheel is that our tow vehicle uh, is detachable. So a lot of people have like converted buses or class A's or class C's or whatever else. Um, and they find that they are hauling an additional car around. Hauling uh, or driving, I guess. Yeah, yeah, or driving. So they're driving their rig around all the time. They don't have another vehicle to haul with. Especially like if there was an emergency, we can just quick bust into the truck and, and go somewhere. Right. Or if we need to run errands, we have to take the entire rig with us, which would yeah. get old too. I mentioned this earlier, but the step up, a lot of fifth wheels, or probably all fifth wheels, have a step up into a different room. So ours is laid out that it steps, there's like two steps into a little hallway and bathroom, and then our bed is at the end of that. So right over the, what is the hitch, technically? Um, yeah. Over the hitch. Um, we can shut off, especially since we have a sliding pocket door as well, we can lock, so we had an eye hook lock on there. Yeah, it makes it feel almost like, almost like a house that is like just separate, like you said, separation. But it like just makes it feel like you're not just in one, one level of just, I don't know. In me, for my brain, it just makes it feel more broken up and just more yeah. livable. Last thing that we love a lot about ours is we are so happy we ripped out all the crap that was in the slide, especially our dining room table. So, uh, so we had a dinette in here initially. Which you probably saw from if you watched some of our previous videos uh, about our renovation. Um, we ripped out our the dinette immediately because it was a gigantic waste of space. Um, the U-shaped dinettes are kind of for the ones that we have, which was the bench seats thing with them. You can't move the table around. We just have a standard, regular old. Yeah. It's got two folding leaves on the outside that fold in and out, so you can it's folds it down when you don't need it and whatnot. So so far. Worked pretty well, and it doesn't fall over. It didn't fall over the first time we transported it either. So yeah, it's probably for sure. So. Those are our hates and loves, I guess. We yeah. could go on and on about the things we love about this life. I think we're going to what three months now? Three yeah. months full timing, and it's been it's been great so far. Yeah, we still love it. 
Still loving it. All right, we're back. We got interrupted by kids, so here's the second half of our video. I really wanted to be um, intentional. Uh, I know there's a lot of protests going on right now and just the whole Black Lives Matter movement. And so we decided that we are going to nominate five black families at RV. These families that we're nominating do a really great job of addressing racial disparity in, in the RVing community and just what goes along with being black and RVing and things that me as a white lady doesn't, I don't have to consider. So um, first off is the Mom Trotter. It's a family of six and they drive a Class C motorhome. They really focus on entrepreneurship and homeschooling, traveling, and family life. Uh, so definitely check them out. Uh, next up is the Thomas Family Life. They live in a travel trailer and they quit their jobs and sold everything like we did and now they're traveling around the country. Um, and next is Della Chris. Um, Della Chris is a family and they focus on um, just positivity, pr uh, productivity, motherhood, faith, finances, and they had a really, really cool video just in a lot of conversations about white privilege and Black Lives Matter, the whole movement there, and racism. So I highly, highly recommend some of the latest videos on that. Next up is the Adventure Bandits. It's a couple um, who live in a travel trailer as well, and they have done some awesome videos about traveling, boondocking, and then being snowbirds. Um, a lot of great information about campgrounds they visited as well. And then last but not least is the Adventures of Fox and Miles. Uh, this is a really sweet couple that live in a Class C motorhome, and they have they just recently did a video on navigating racism in America in, tra in like while traveling. So also really well done. Um, I continue to learn many many things from all these families and couples, and I highly recommend that you follow them, subscribe as well to our channel, and I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.